When you think of bacteria, what's the first place that comes to mind? Either the toilet or, or wherever the pooperators have been. Correct. <laughs> But public restrooms, they seem like a breeding ground for bacteria, but can they actually make you sick? Today we're going to separate myth from reality on this subject. So let's, let's take the toilet seat. 65% of you think you can catch the flu from that seat. What do you all think? No. No, most people here are saying no. So can the flu virus live on a toilet? Yes. Influenza, other viruses can live for two, three days on these non-porous surfaces. That would include your phone, remote control, and certainly the toilet seat. Here's the good news. The likeliness of someone getting the flu virus on that toilet seat, which would, it doesn't come out your, your back end, right? Yeah, but let's say you cough, on. it ends up on the toilet seat, then you sit on the toilet seat, you get some virus on your, your buttocks, you stand up, Kind of wipe down there and then touch a mucous membrane. Yeah, that's it's pretty, pretty much pretty how that transfer unlikely has scenario. to occur. Yeah, it's a pretty unlikely scenario. Why are you all so afraid of this normal bodily function? We, <laughs> what you just did well, is not normal. What you just did is gross. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're afraid. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> I don't either, and that's why I know for a fact I've never caught the flu from a toilet seat. Yeah, I don't think I have either. The next question we asked you was, can you catch a cold from a toilet seat? 61% of you think yes. The answer, technically, yes. Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. Do you want to stand up viruses. and show us the same thing again? Yeah, so, yeah. so yeah. I'm, I walk oh! in. I walk in the bathroom, I got a cold. I'm sneezing everywhere, there's snot everywhere. It gets on the toilet seat, I leave, you come in, you sit on the toilet seat, you're a little, you're not wiping that great. You start touching your eyes. <laughs> yeah, you can get a cold that way. But is it I, gonna happen, Dr. Batra? No, I think it's less likely. I think the differentiation is that when you talk about influenza, it lasts longer and it survives a little longer than the common cold. But either way, if there's a short turnaround, if the next person who walks in, I guess technically it's, it's possible, but pretty unlikely. This is the beauty of medicine. There are a lot of technically true things that practically aren't. I am much more worried, Drew. You got you got one that's important. Then I'm going to say I what do I have, have one more, and this is an important one. How many of you think that you can contract an STD from a toilet seat? And oh, see, mm -hmm. we're hearing some yeses. Over 50% of you, once again, responded that yes, in fact, you can. And the truth is, no, you cannot. STD viruses. They don't, they don't like to live outside of the body. They like warm, nice, cozy places where they can thrive. They're only going to last on a toilet seat for 10 seconds. So unless you're having a real quick turnaround on that toilet seat. <laughs> or, or you're having unprotected sex on the toilet seat, which, <laughs> yes. Ne I've seen it in movies. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Not my favorite place.